click on this three dots here then click on this new project here let us call this na10 demo then click on this create button search for google drive api here select the google drive api here then click on this enable button we will configure the oauth consent screen on the left side here click on this oauth consent screen option under the user type select this external option then click on this create option fill in the app name here i'm just calling it na10 demo add your gmail id here in this user support email drop down box add your gmail address here in the authorized domains section add na10.cloud if you are using na10's cloud service if you are hosting locally on your laptop then you leave it blank let me click this delete item here since i am using locally installed na10 i am not adding any domain here then click on this save and continue option we are not adding any scopes here scroll down and then click on this save and continue button add your gmail id to this add users because when the status is set to testing only test users will be able to access the application click on this add users button type in your email id and then click on this add button then click on this save and continue button here now we will create the client credentials in the left side navigation menu click on this credentials option click on this plus create credentials option we are creating oauth client id hence select this second option oauth client id click on this application type drop down box and then select web application you can give any name to the web client here i'm just calling it na10 credentials in the authorized redirect uris section click on this add uri button here we need to enter the redirect uri from na10 click on this plus icon type in google drive and then select google drive here i'm selecting download file here click on the select credential option here and then click on this create new credential option here is the oauth redirect url that we need to copy click here to copy it we got the message redirect url copy to clipboard now switch back to google cloud console and then paste that value here scroll down then click on this create button here google will create client id and client secret values here you will need to copy the client id here and paste it in this client id field similarly paste the client secret value here then scroll down and then click on this sign in with google button here here select the gmail account that you want to use with this credential then you will see google hasn't verified this app pop up you can click on this continue option here click on this select all button to give all the necessary permissions to google and then click on this continue button now you can see this is in green color your account is connected